my friends, Paul here in the Rojovi Music Workshop and welcome to my next project. Uh, five string banjo build, um, in particular for claw hammer playing style. Okay, so as you can see, I've got my current banjo on the bench. Um, I've already removed the resonator off the back. Um, it's just these four screws which go through through brackets on the body into into these. Uh, it's pretty dusty. <laughs> Um, and in case any of you are interested, there's the, oh, are you going to see that model in serial number for any of you that might be interested in what it is. So the model is a TB, TB, what does that stand for? 24DLXG, LH, which stands for left hand, and the serial number 11051. 40384. Designed in the United Kingdom, handcrafted in China. <laughs> Isn't everything though? So, you know, it's, it's built in China with, um, with uh, components made in the UK. So, all good. Right, so, uh, as I said, I've got the resonator off the back. Um, just going to angle the camera down a bit. I'm may not zoom in because banjos are pretty long <laughs> and uh, it's difficult to get the whole thing in the picture how's that i think you can see okay what i'm doing there okay so um, all i've done so far is taken the resonator off the back um now you i guess i should explain why i've got this on the bench before i go any further um i want to remove the neck and use this neck as the template for the new one. Um, I will be referring to, to this instrument a lot for during this build because obviously this is a professionally built one or professionally designed one and uh, you know this will be a good reference point for all of the bits and pieces I need to do. But as I said I want to remove the neck from this banjo to use this neck as a template. <coughs> However the um, the uh, neck, which I've just ordered incidentally, um, is slightly shorter than the, than the banjo neck. The, the guitar necks are slightly shorter than the banjo neck by about 10 centimeters, um, which effectively means it's going to be a short scale banjo. It should not be any problem at all because the spacing between the frets will be relative to the length of the fretboard. So it shouldn't be any problem at all. Um, but you know, I'm going to be using the neck for template for particularly where the step for the fifth, fifth uh, string tuning peg, and also the 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 width of the neck from the neck down to uh, the the body end. So you know, this I'm going to be using this for reference points. Now, as I said, I haven't played this banjo for quite a long time, and as such, the strings are poop. They're all rusty and they're nasty and they're horrible. So I've ordered a new set of strings for this as well. So I'm just going to cut these off. Um, but first I need to just uh, slacken them off. to the other side so I don't want to put any unnecessary strain on that neck. Right, they're all sufficiently new, loose now just to just cut them away. Um, okay, so some pieces inside that resonator for now so that I don't lose anything. I'll find a better place for them later but it's alright for now. Okay so let's just get that fifth string out. Uh, let me grab a pencil will do just to pull it through. 
through. No, that won't do. Let's try that. No, that's too big. Um, okay, I'm sure I can manage this somehow. So, remove all the strings first, get those out of my way. hitting the camera. Four. And the last one. And when I come to putting this banjo back together, I will check everything, you know, tightness of all the hardware and other bits and pieces, but I'm not going to worry about it now. It's not important right now. don't have the bits to put it back together anyway, so... So that's all the strings out that end. This end should be a bit easier. <laughs> should be. It's not always necessarily the case because it's. I'll show you this when I. Actually, let me show you now. So the strings go through this tailpiece and then they go. They're, they're looped and they go over these little hooks at the end. Um, now, getting the old ones out is can be a little bit tricky. But nowhere near as bad as getting the new ones in. Ask me how I know. Because <laughs> uh, it, you know, I have restrung this banjo before, and, and uh, it was a bit of a faff getting the new strings over these little hooks at the end. But as I said, taking them off, as you can see, that's three already, is relatively easy. <laughs> right, last one. Right, so that's all the strings out. Let me just bin those now so that they're not in my way and stabbing me in the fingers and things like that. <coughs> okay, so to actually remove the neck, um, not too sure, I have to be honest, how, because uh, I've not removed the neck before, but if I just show you inside the back, some banjos will have two uh, rods in the back. This one only has one. And it goes in here, which looks like to the, to, well, it does to the heel of the neck here. But there's also a big screw in the, in the, back, of, in the back of the heel there as well. So, um, as I said, I've only got this one rod, which is, is basically a... Um, it's a rod for, for adjusting the neck angle. Uh, there's a single jam nut at, at the bottom end, there's a jam nut at the top, and you've got the adjuster part in the middle. Now, I'm going to just remove this screw, first of all. Um, I don't think that will allow the neck to come out. I think I've got to take uh, this out as well. Uh, but before I move any of these, I have marked with a Sharpie where the threads are on these each of these nuts so that I know exactly where they should be when I come back to putting it back together. <laughs> so let me just uh, remove that screw first of all. I don't think, as I said, that, that will allow the neck to, oh, to come out, but I'm intrigued to know what it's for. Uh, I don't know, it feels more like it's some kind of adjustment, so I'm going to leave that for now. Find a spanner to fit that nut. Uh, which should be 15 mil. No, <laughs> 14 mil. Yeah, 14 mil. It's probably actually US size, but. Okay, so I can feel now the neck is loose, so that is the right one to remove that. Uh, so, 
by remove by undoing that top nut, uh, it's made the neck loose, but it's still joined onto that rod. So I'm going to have to undo this nut and then pull and turn the adjuster rod until it comes out. Should be the same size nut. And it is. Okay. So if I take that right off, and now. Ah, I see. Okay, that's good to know. So, um, taking this top nut right down, moving the adjuster rod. Okay, that's interesting. Wasn't expecting it to be like that, but there you go. So, what we've got, in just one second, I'll show you. So the threaded bar is inserted into the bottom of the neck, and that screw holds that in place. So, uh, I probably could have removed that screw, but it's fine. At least I know now how it all works. So what you've got left is the adjuster rod there and that, that bolt from the neck goes straight into there. And as I said, I've got all those marks on there with the Sharpie so I know where to put it back to <coughs> when, it, <coughs> when it comes to it. But I do want to try, try and remove that screw and see if I can get that bar out, just to get it out of my way. There we go. Just felt weird the way it was sort of going loose then tight then loose then tight. I thought maybe it was some kind of adjuster. There we go. I should have just taken that out, but never mind. There we go. So that's that hardware. Um, I think. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take this adjuster rod out. Okay, so that's the adjuster rod out. Just all the things that will be in my way. Um, how does that come out? Uh -huh. Okay, and there's there's the piece that, uh, that attaches the adjuster rod to the tailpiece. So I hope I remember how this all goes together. I should do. And there we go. The tailpiece is off as well. So <coughs> that's all good. So I'm going to very carefully put all the hardware into the back of the banjo here very carefully so I don't want to damage that uh, the top of it okay and then that can all go to one side out of my way I won't need that for quite a long time now and all I need is this neck so let's just get that out of the way uh, put it on a cloth so I don't scratch it just down here on the floor for now Okay, so that's the neck out of the banjo. Um, I think um, what I will do as well is just remove the nut because uh, that's going to be in my way and if it just pops off at any time it might get lost. So let me find a screwdriver just to give it a little tap. And Where's my rubber mallet? There it is. So I just gently tap that nut to remove it. So loose now. Okay, let me try. Another little hammer. Just tap it directly. There we go. So that's out nice and easy. And that'll go back in nice and easy. Okay, good. So, um, I think I'm also going to take, take the tuners out because they will also be in my way. And these are quite easy, they've just got the, the nut on the top here and then they should just pull straight out. Um, but, <coughs> I want to label them first. It doesn't really matter, but just for just my own peace of mind. So just with a Sharpie, I'm just going to mark on there. So this is five. So that will be four, three, two, one. OK, 
Okay, so I'll just put a dot, one dot, two dots, three dots, and four dots. Probably can't see that, but just mark them so that I put them back in the same place. Um, like I said, it shouldn't really matter too much, but um, you know, if there are any discrepancies with alignment or um, anything like that, then we're covered. So that's a uh, uh, which one is it? Ten, ten mil for these. Yeah, there we go. So I'll just do one at a time, just make sure they should just pop out. There we go, easy as that. Okay, so I'll put the washer back on, put the nut back on, and they can also go with the rest of the hardware. So this, this is just, you know, just to make my life easier using this as a template, but also so that I don't damage anything. <clears throat> Some of these components, you know, can, can be a little bit expensive and I don't really want to replace them if I don't have to. I mean, it's a good opportunity to, you know, to clean things up as well. I don't know what that white chalky stuff is in there, but... Uh, could be polish or something, I suppose. I think, I think it is. So, you know, it'll give me an opportunity to clean things up and, you know, lubricate or whatever where necessary. So it's never a bad thing to take an instrument apart if you can, especially one like banjos that have, you know, it's a lot of mechanical stuff. Unlike a guitar, um, you know, where apart from the tuners, there's not very much you, you can take off. I mean, a, a, an acoustic guitar, not very much you can take off them. Whereas banjos, you can. You can basically strip them to about 400 components. <laughs> so it's, it's useful. Right, so that's all the tuners off. I'll just put those to one side. Okay, now what about the fifth tuner? The problem with taking these out is they're not bolted or screwed on. They're, they're wedged into a hole in the body. I ain't going to touch that because that could, you know, create a real problem trying to pull that out. So that's going to stay in place. <coughs> so everything else is off it. I've got the, the bolt out of the bottom. Uh, the rest of the tuners are off. The nuts off. Um, I don't think I'll need to remove the truss rod cover, um, but I might do later. So that is now ready to use. It's my template. And it's nice and light and easy to use, whereas on the, the instrument it would have been really awkward. So let me just move all these tools out of the way, first of all. <coughs> now, what I'm going to use for the template is, rather than trying to, you know, transfer it directly to the new neck, I've got these two bits of card, um, which I will uh, uh, draw around the neck and mark onto this card. So, uh, if I, let's make sure I've got enough to do, yeah, that should be fine. So, I want to, um, I want to mark the, around the headstock and at least the top part of the neck and, you know, the, the, the step for this um, fifth string tuning peg as well. It's going to be a bit awkward to get to that because of that tuning peg, but, uh, actually, I wonder how much of it I can remove by taking the screw out. Let's just have a quick look it is still a little bit in the way to be honest but I don't think this will help me very much I think the body of it will still stay there yeah mm. yeah I really really don't want to try and pull that out of there I could I could cause myself a huge amount of problems but if it feels like it'll go then I'll go it'll it will come out, but yeah, yeah I'm not happy about that. I, I think I'll leave that. It's going to be a bit awkward uh, getting around that to draw around that to get the the shape, but it should be okay. It shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is uh, tape these two pieces of card together lengthways. 
Uh, masking tape is your friend. So, I'll join them on the other side because I want to draw on this side. So, I'll just join them on the other side first. Okay, and... Right, so... Let me just make sure those line up nicely. Quite. ends over just so they don't move about. Okay, so um, I think that'll be fine. Uh, let me see. So I'm going to leave enough room for uh, the headstock as well, but I'm going to just try now to draw around the neck onto this card as best I can. <coughs> um, Okay, so I'll start from the top of the fretboard. So I'll just try and get around this fifth string tuning peg. It's a bit, bit awkward, but eh, if I can get either side of it enough, I should be able to mark, uh, match up the lines by eye. You know, the, the reason for this template is... is, is Mostly for this uh, for this step out for this fifth string tuning peg, but also for the for the taper as well. Okay, so while that's in place, I'm just going to fold this card up onto the headstock so that I can draw around that as well. Yeah, a, bit, a bit tricky, but. I should have taken this in place, but by the time I faffed about doing that, I could have done the job anyway, so. This is going to be pretty rough, but I can tidy it up afterwards. I'm just getting the basic shape, really. So that's come out pretty good actually. So that's the headstock shape there and then the neck and you can just about see that step for the fifth string there and the taper down there. Okay, that's fine. So I can join that line now where the fifth string goes. Okay, just tidy up some of this bit for the headstock. doing for time? Not great. Okay. Right, so we've got the um, basic template there um, for 95% of the neck. <laughs> um, so we've got the headstock here and then the tape and you can see the, the step there for the fifth string. Okay, I'm quite happy with that. So... Um, I will now just put some tape on the other side just to make sure it's not going to come apart. And then I will cut that template out. Actually, I don't need to do that right now um, because I haven't got the neck here yet to start work on it. So I might as well just leave that as it is for now and uh, do that where, when the neck arrives and I can start working on it. So, I'm, go I'm still going to ke keep the neck off because, you know, I'll, like I said, I'm going to be using it for reference on the new neck um, as I go along. You know, I'll need, I'll need sort of headstock thicknesses and angles and all sorts of things I'll need to use this for reference for. 
um, and you know, along with the template, I can start to make the neck. <coughs> okay, so uh, really, the the next stage uh, until the neck arrives, and I can start working on that, is is to you know think about the actual body. Um, so I've got the the uh, the rim here. What is that? So I've got the rim here and I've got the skin soaking in water. So I think that might be the next stage as I'm waiting for this neck to arrive because it might be 10 days or more, I don't know yet. Um, but that might well be the next stage. So that might well be the next video, part two. So here we go on yet another project. Um, I've made a start, <laughs> very, very basic start, but you know, it, a start is a start. So, you know, that that's... Uh, Given, given me some something to, to begin with and um, as I said I'll probably have a look at doing the